hey guys welcome back to another video of Stree's bio simplified today we are going to take a look on evaluation chapter guys for now my videos are concerned with practicing questions learn concepts from ncrt and take a small test here soon i will try to upload concepts if you need to okay let's get started let's see our first question select the correct statements Point number one, the essence of Darwinian theory about evolution is natural selection. Point number two, the rate of appearance of new forms is not linked to the life cycle or the lifespan. Point number three, adaptive ability is not inherited. Point number four, mutation is random and directionless. The correct statements are one and four, which makes option B the right answer. Okay, next question. Natural selection means option A better adaptability, option B elimination of less adapted, option C better survival, option D all of this. The correct answer for this question is D all of this. Next question. Darwin's finches are a good example of option A industrial melanism, option B connecting link, option C adaptive radiation, option D convergent evolution. Darwin's finches show adaptive radiation. This radiation occurred in response to various food resources available. These finches feed on insects, tree birds, seeds, cactus, etc. Carry on or dead borders and no finches feed on them. So the correct answer for this question is C. Adaptive radiation. Okay, next question. Evolution of different species in a given area starting from a point and spreading to other geographical areas is known as option A adaptive radiation, option B natural selection, option C migration, option D divergent evolution. Adaptive radiation is one of the form of species of animals or plants or of a number of different forms as the original population increases in size it spreads out from its center of origin to exploit new habitat and food sources in time this results in a number of population each adapted to its particular habitat eventually these population will differ from each other sufficiently to become new species and at last the right answer for this question is a adaptive radiation okay next question what is mean by the term darwin fin fitness option a the ability to survive and reproduce option b high aggressiveness option c healthy appearance option d physical strength easy and important one and the right option is a that is ability to survive and reproduce okay let's see our next question appearance theory is based on option a artificial synthesis option b spontaneous generation option c god's will option d all and the right answer for this question is A. Artificial synthesis. Next question. Which of the following compounds has very important role in prebiotic evolution? Option A. Methane. Option B. Sulfur dioxide. Option C. Sulfur trioxide. Option D. Nitrogen monoxide. Okay, since this is, this is very uh, important and my favorite topic in this chapter, I would like to explain more about it. Actually, primitive atmosphere contained gases like methane, ammonia, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen gas, etc. Water, vapor and metallic carbides react to form the first organic compound methane. It is suggested that simple one-celled organisms somewhat similar to today's cyanobacteria that is blue green algae were present on earth about 3600 million years ago with the addition of oxygen into the atmosphere. Methane and amine, ammonia began to disappear as they got oxidized forming CO2 and N2 respectively and the reduction of oxidation, oxidation of CH4 is one molecule of CH4 combines with two molecules of uh, oxygen gas to give carbon dioxide and two moles of water. So we can came to a conclusion option A is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is a reptilian ancestor of birds? Option A. Esperonus. Option B. Ichthyornus. Option C. Archaeopteryx. Option D. Lycanops. The first fossil bird found in the rocks of Jurassic period belonged to genera Archaeopteryx and Archaeornus. Uh, these are considered as reptilian ancestors of birds. It was about the size of a crow and possessed fe feathers and wings but had a long reptilian tail very much unlike the modern birds and a toothed beak. Fossils of Esperornus 
and aquatic diving bird and uh, ikai thai ornus uh, powerful flying bird have been founded from cretaceans so the correct answer is c archaeopteryx okay let's see a next question study of fossils is option a paleontology option b herpetology option c zoology option d organic evolution paleontology is the science or study of uh, extinct organisms including their structure environment evolution and distribution as revealed by their fossil remains herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians zoology is the study of snakes organic evolution deals with the study of origin of life and origin of new species so the right answer for this question is a paleontology next question darwin's finches discovered from the galapagos island serve as a good example of option a mammocry option b camouflage option c seasonal migration option d biogeographical evidence of evolution charles darwin during his voyage around the world studied the flora and fauna of galapagos island galapagos island are called a living laboratory of evolution darwin studied 20 related various varieties of birds and uh, belonging to family geospidae uh, different in shape and the size of beak these birds are now called darwin's finches they serve as a good example of geographical evidence of evolution so the correct option is d next question oh it's over so that's it for the day guys hope you guys learn something thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning thank you come again